Hi there, my name is Brad and welcome to another of my anatomy videos. Today, we're going to talk about medial knee numbness. For those of you who don't know what medial is, this is essentially, this means uh, the inside of your knee um, for this video or thigh. We're not just going to focus on the uh, knee itself. We are going to talk about the overall um, medial thigh because there is a certain nerve that passes through uh, specifically that area that can be responsible for uh, a lot of kind of numbness, uh, mainly there and other injuries you can also experience pain burning sensations and today i'm going to try to uh you know give you an explanation where that you can understand where exactly that pain is coming from uh, and the numbness or any kind of symptoms if you are someone who is suffering and struggling with these type of symptoms we are with my 3D anatomy model and what I've done there, I've essentially removed uh, some of the muscles that could be in the way here, just so we can essentially have a better look at the nerves that we're going to talk about in this video. So like I said, there is a specific nerve that I'm going to focus on, but I'm also going to talk about where this nerve comes from uh, and like what's its kind of role in the big picture, okay? Because we all we also need to look at the big picture here and not just specific areas of the body because we need to make sure we have a holistic approach. The nerve that I want talk about is the saphenous nerve and what you can do here you can pause this video and try to figure out which one of these nerves here in the thigh all these yellow lines that you can see here which one of these is the saphenous nerve okay if you want you can do that now for those of you who've essentially picked this one here uh, not the adductor muscle but this is the nerve that I want to talk about, you can see it right there, right? So it's essentially slightly highlighted in uh, like pale yellow, um, but you can see it like the uh, pinpoint here. And this is the saphenous nerve. And if I kind of scroll down a little bit, you can see that it kind of pierces the uh, anterior medial intramuscular septum there. And let's select it one more time. You can see how it spreads down on the medial aspect of the knee. So all these kind of lines here, all these little branches, are the branches of the um, saphenous nerve essentially wrapping around the medial knee. You can see it even goes towards the posterior aspect and the anterior aspect. So medial anterior and medial uh, posterior, but overall like the entire kind of medial knee, let's kind of get a bit closer here. The entire medial knee is going to be affected by this nerve and even lower down the shin a little bit. So if we kind of, uh, you know, go a little bit lower down the tibia, which is this green bit there, this is again the saphenous nerve. The saphenous nerve does uh, also go lower down the leg. You can see how it finishes right about kind of here. Um, let's go even lower. There we go. So you can see if I, let me see if I can actually select it there. There we go. So this is where it actually finishes. This is the end point. So kind of just above the medial malleole, which is this, the medial malleole is the uh, ankle bone, which is essentially the tibia on the medial aspects and the lateral malleole is the uh, f um, the fibula on the lateral aspects. I was going to say femur there. <laughs> um, okay, so essentially this is where the saphenous nerve will uh, finish, but it also has these little branches that kind of go on the back here as well, uh, towards the soleus muscle and the gastrocnemius. Uh, okay, so it does have an effect on, on these muscles as well. So it's a very interesting nerve in the way it kind of descends. You can see that if I go a bit higher up, you can see how it kind of spreads here on the side of uh, the, of the side of the uh, soleus and the gastrocnemius, wrapping around it, even wrapping around it from up here, uh, going towards the um, medial uh, calf head. So the medial head of the gastrocnemius. So essentially, there's there are a lot of kind of uh, areas here, um, and we're talking about sensory sensory areas that the saphenous nerve will cover. So if you are someone experiencing problems like in numbness in your medial calf, soleus muscle, medial shin, like on the inside of your shin, if you're a runner and uh, you feel, you think you're experiencing shin splints or any other type of you know related symptoms, um, it's not necessarily going to like the numbness itself is not necessarily going to be caused because of um, you know what you're like because of these muscles or uh, uh, anything like anything more serious like an actual medial tibial stress syndrome or or periostitis which are different injuries you know it could be caused um, by something to do with the saphenous nerve okay now now that you've seen kind of the uh, lower aspects of the saphenous nerve you can even see it kind of goes on the front of the tibia so again connecting to those running injuries um, but let's focus on the knee a little bit more 
So you can definitely see it kind of wrapping underneath the patella there. If we have a bit more connective tissue here, so we can see the patella tendon or the quad tendon there, uh, or the patella ligaments, whatever you want to call it, uh, people call it different names. Um, I think it's kind of uh, acceptable to use both tendon and ligament here. Um, but you can see how it kind of the nerve wraps around the ligament or a tendon and in, in between all these other uh, tissues here. So all, all, all these areas could be affected by the softness nerve or anything, any kind of problems to do with that nerve itself. So essentially we are talking about, you know, numbness, uh, burning sensation. So if you are feeling like a burning sensation on the medial aspect of your knee wrapping around your, underneath your patella or even like touching the patella a little bit, that could be the softness nerve. Okay. Um, now, the most common problem that I would say here and the most obvious will be um, intramuscular tension. So the muscles like you got the vastus medialis here, you got some of the adductors, like adductor longus, you got the gracilis here. You know, the softness nerve essentially is, is travels very close to those uh, muscles. So if you do have like any kind of tension um, and uh, tightness or trigger points or whatever, that could be what's causing the uh, compression on the saphenous nerve and that could be what's sending you know the uh, symptoms down the leg either going all the way down into the shin or the calf doesn't really matter as long as like usually the body will be kind of compressed maybe around here somewhere or if we go a little bit higher up and then let's select that again so you can see it here it actually it comes very close to the source major so if you have any kind of hip problems like hip tightness that's also going to impact it um, and i'm going to explain that in a second as well a bit more but um adductors mainly so if you go any kind of groin problems you know this is the pectineus one of the adductor muscles you know so there's a lot of muscle tissue here that can get compressed uh, that, that can essentially compress on the, on the nerve because of its tightness and stuff like that um but what's also very important here is the fact that the softness nerve actually comes out of the femoral nerve. Um, and again, if you want to pause the video here and try and figure out which one of these uh, nerves here is the femoral nerve, you can do that. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So this, this one here. This one is a bit easier because it's essentially the second biggest nerve in the uh, lower body after the sciatic nerve. Um, but the femoral nerve is very interesting because it essentially supplies motor and sensory function to the entire thigh. Um, you know, and also it kind of, because the softness nerve is a part of it, it will supply sensory function down the leg as well on the medial aspect. Um, so all these muscles here that we just talked about uh, are going to have some sort of, um, you know, the, the nerve itself is going to have some sort of an impact on these muscles. And here we want to talk about the um, psoas major and the iliacus. So the femoral nerve actually supplies the iliacus, uh, which is this. It doesn't supply the psoas major directly, but you can see essentially the femoral nerve is located between the psoas, which is this here on the left, and the iliacus. So if we are to multi-select, we well, have got the femoral nerve, I've got the um, iliacus, and I'll get this um, saphenous as well, and let's fade everything around. This is it here. So see how essentially the femoral nerve is uh, pinched in between those two muscles, so essentially comes out of in between them and connects into the um, spine here. So any tension on the source major because because of sitting or whatever, you know, sit, you know, the, the, the hip flexors in the source major are massive, um, you know, nowadays in terms of like injuries and lower back pain and hip pain and knee pain even. So. It definitely has a connection here. So if you have that medial knee uh, numbness because of the saphenous nerve compression, that compression could be coming from all the way up here from the hip. And this is why we, when I treat like knee injuries, I always want to make sure that I start from the hips and then I work my way down towards the knee, ankle and feet. So these are some of the main problems that I want to discuss in this video. There are obviously other uh, problems that can affect the saphenous nerve, but uh, you know I wanted to focus on these kind of main, mainly muscular type of uh, compression, um, just so you can essentially know what's happening here and what you can do to try and alleviate this pain is to work on your hip mobility, to do self treatment with a trigger point or a lacrosse, a lacrosse ball, uh, to try and really release the trigger points from these muscle tissues, uh, and uh, essentially you know self massage down the quads. Uh, you know flossing techniques all these techniques you can find in uh, my online courses which you should check out uh, in the link um, here so uh, i'll let you guys do that and hopefully this video has been informative and i'll see you in the next one